So, hey, Saints, it's Sister with a Testimony, and I'm coming live and in person from Swat Dot Church. Well, actually, the office. End times. Self fulfilling prophecy. Can I be my own prophet? In other words, am I an auto prophet? Am I a self prophet? Saints, let me help us understand today what the Word of God says about auto-prophetics in end times, about self-fulfilling prophecy, auto-prophetics, and self-prophetics. First and foremost, saints, if we're going to look at this, we need to understand what a prophet's spirit is. So I'm going to give you a scripture reference, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 32. And we're going to dive right into end times and self-fulfilling prophecy and self-prophetics, also known as auto-prophetics. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets, saints. First and foremost, if you're going to be a prophet over your own life, it's not just about having the spirit of prophecy who is Yahushua living in you. All born-again believers have the spirit of prophecy who is Yahushua Hamashiach, uh, Ruach HaKodesh, the spirit of holiness living in them, according to what? Revelation 19.10. So the question would be, can a prophet prophesy to himself can a non-profit prophet prophesy to themselves? Well, first and foremost, if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 14, you're going to know that there is an order in which we are to prophesy. Saints, a prophet can prevent himself or herself from prophesying. We can control our flesh. Oh, the spirit was just so heavy on me. I had to say it. Uh, no, you're full of the flesh and you're immature. You need to learn how to hold it and wait because the Holy Spirit's not going to force himself on you and he's not going to be rude and force himself on someone else through you. Oops. A prophet can prevent himself or herself from prophesying. A prophet cannot initiate genuine prophecy. Oh, wow. That just kind of kills it for most people, doesn't it? You cannot be taught, nor can you learn how to prophesy. You either have a spirit of a prophet, or you do not have the spirit of a prophet. And according to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, it is the Holy Spirit that decides who gets what gift and what measure. And it is also according to the Holy Spirit that he gives gifts to the body of Christ, which are apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Not everybody is a prophet. If you look at uh, what Moses said back in uh, Numbers, he said he wished that all of, people, all, all of God's people would prophesy. Um, he wasn't a bit a respecter of persons, nor, you know, I got the gift and, you know, nobody else does. To prophesy is a gift from the Lord. You can have a gift of prophecy, or you can be in the office of a prophet. But I can guarantee you that not everybody that has the spirit of prophecy, who is Yahushua, not everybody that has the gift of prophecy, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, is a prophet. A prophet is born. A prophet is not made. So there are certain characteristics that you have to have. So we're going to talk about, again, end times, self-fulfilling prophecies. Can I be my own prophet? Auto prophet. Here we go. So there is a practice in the New Testament church, saints. Not that it's a good one. Based on the mistaken belief that anyone with the Holy Spirit can self-prophesy and is never in need of a prophet. The one who stands in the official office of a prophet. I'm not talking about somebody that can prophesy, nor your fellow brothers and sisters that 
have the spirit of prophecy, who is Yahushua. The Lord can use anybody at any time for anything. That doesn't mean that they are a fivefold gift to the body. The Lord's problem with this belief, saints, let's think about the Lord here and from his standpoint. Let's just go to the scripture in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. It reads, on this wise, have you ever heard this? The heart is desperately wicked. Hmm. The heart is desperately wicked and therefore is unable to be known by its owner. Because the, fall, the verse after that says that God is the only one that can really truly know a man's spirit. And read it, know it completely and totally. Scripture. Let's stop getting flaky with the prophetics here. Jeremiah 10.23 enlarges upon this reality by informing us that it is not in us to direct our own ways, saints. Therefore, the path that is less traveled is usually traveled less because folks want what they want, when they want it, how they want it, kind of like Burger King. Have it your way. I can't find in the Word of God where it says, have it your way, Leslie. Can't find it. Not going to happen. It's going to be his way, Yahushua's, or it ain't going to be no way. The way. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The Lord designed the body of Christ ultimately to function like his own saints. Mm, come on. It is to be interdependent upon each member to assure the fullest complement of service support and sustenance that is to be made available to all concerned not just one person or the person that tithes the most or the person that pays for most of the missions or the deacon or the apostle the prophet the evangelist the pastor the teacher they are gifts to the body there are gifts for individual members of the body in order that the body become one unit working together. And when we start prophesying to ourselves, we're going to fulfill all of our own wants and desires and lusts. That's where it's really coming from. I see, I want, I need. Okay, more than likely you see it, you don't need it, you just want it. Okay, God knows better what I need than what I think I need. Because if I'm left to my own devices, I'm having it now, my way. I ain't having no problem with admitting that. What people hear direct, directly and accurately from the Holy Spirit as the word of the Lord will concern their own private lives, saints. It's not surprising since those succumbing, giving into, and buying into self-prophetics, they're strictly interested in hearing <laughs> the Lord's word for their own desires for personal and often selfish reason, reasons. Hmm. Yeah, come on, saints. I'm going to prophesy over myself. Girlfriend, you fixing to be mm, just so loved and wanted and adored. Girlfriend, you fixing to have a new car. You're fixing to have a new life, a new job, more money, more honey. Mm, you fixing to get woo, everything you want because God wants to bless you. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, no. <laughs> Wake up. I'm going to prophesy to myself. Why don't I just make me one of them little memory boards and vision. stick it up there and say, hmm. What is it, a vision board? Well, you know what? I remember I wanted that, so I wanted it 30 years ago. So I'm going to put it on the vision board today, and I'm going to declare that which not be so as if it were. Guys, if you'd really get out of the King James and all them other versions, you'd realize that somebody has taught you a lie. You cannot self-prophesy. You can Oh, actually you can. You, you can self-prophesy. And you can have the end time self-fulfilling prophecies all you want. Just get you a little bored and 
stick everything on that board that you want to visualize and make appear magically. Mm-hmm. Whether the Lord wants it or not, and whether you repent it or not, just there you go. Self prophecies. Just stick it all your little pins and pictures all over that little board right there. I'm just gonna stay in the garden of life. <laughs> Under these circumstances, saints, when you're self prophesying, it's impossible <laughs> for First Thessalonians chapter five, verse twenty one where we're admonished to prove all things, hold fast that which is good. You can't prove it to yourself because you've already puffed up your mind to prove it to yourself that you fix and have what you stick on your vision board and call for it. Open the wallet and command it to be full. How's that working for you, saints? Yeah. Is that working for you? Open your wallet, command it to be full. Because when it's full... I'm going to have to have my 10%. Yeah. (laughs) That ain't what this is about. It's about the Benjamins. Come on, saints. Mm -hmm. You don't need a prophet. You need Yahushua. Okay? And he'll send you a prophet or he'll send you to a real prophet sitting in the office of a prophet and they won't tell you they're a prophet. They won't tell you to bring your offering. They won't tell you to bring your seed. Okay? They will feed you the truth. Whether you like it or not. And they'll tell you to repent. And they will nail the sin in your life. Not because they think they're supernaturally better than you. But because they can see it. Because the Holy Spirit is the only one that can read the, mm, mm, the heart of a man. Or a woman. Mm -hmm. The requirement of proving all things is next to impossible if I'm self-prophesying. Here's a scripture for you. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. It says to examine yourself to see if you're in the faith. Mm -hmm. Saints, if you examine yourself and see if you're in the faith, you are not going to self-prophesy. Okay? You're going to go to the Lord. You're going to hear it from the Lord. You're going to back it up with scripture and then he's going to send you to a prophet or a prophet's going to be sent to you and it's going to be confirmed 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 but you're not going to have all these things that you want that you pin up on your little vision board and call forth magically okay with sin in your life because god's not going to bless your sin he is not going to bless your mess stop sending those pictures that say god please bless my mess there is something wrong with that picture you want He said, I'll even curse your offerings and seed that you plant. Now that is strict. I'm going to bring an offering to the Lord and try to make a deal with him. He says it'll be cursed before I even bring it. Because more than likely I got a problem with my brother and I made it right yet. Oh, yeah, we don't want to hear that. End times prophetics are not, for the most part, biblical. First, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians 13, 5 says, examine yourself to see if you're in the faith. Yahushua says to examine ourselves. The scripture states that there are many voices in this world, saints. Many, many voices. Which one are you listening to? Because there are a lot of false prophets out there. Yes. Uh, uh, what a self-prophetic operation. auto prophet. Just turn it on and off whenever I need to feel the seed of greed manifesting in my life. <laughs> that's, I don't know about y'all, but that's good. Woo! I need to see the seed to fulfill my greed. Indeed. It's a dangerous thing to rely solely upon your own spirit. Mm to hear from the Lord when he didn't arrange it or order it that way in his word. Especially when you do not have a prophet's spirit. Hmm. And it's true when the Lord says it's quite easy for official prophets to follow their own spirit. Ask me how I know. Prophets can prophesy whatever you want them to. They lie to you and strip you naked. Take all your money, honey. 
Mm, yeah. Bring your money, I'll prophesy to you. <laughs> yeah, not happening here. Why? Saints, you don't want to disappoint yourself. <laughs> Come on! You're going to disappoint yourself and prophesy bad stuff to yourself? Think about it. People seek God's prophets when they really want to hear God's mind and heart and the truth about their matters. Because it matters to God. What matters to you matters to Yahushua Hamashiach. It matters. And he wants you to have the truth. He doesn't want you to deceive yourself. That's the problem with most people today. We've been deceived. We've received. And we've believed the deception. Saints, those that refuse to hear the truth in this important revelatory institution that God himself ordered in favor of their own opinions. Oh my gosh! Why don't you just hit your head up against a brick wall? Because you're kicking against the pricks according to King James Version like Paul. We seek in our own conclusions through our own advice under the guise of spiritual revelation. But in Ezekiel chapter 14 verses 1 through 12 and Ezekiel chapter 13 1 through 6, Yahuwah's reaction to the prophets of Israel who prophesy out of their own hearts, he condemned. He condemned their auto-prophetic saints and he will condemn mine and he will condemn yours because you cannot be a prophet over your own life. Well, you can, but I would not recommend it. It's not recommended in scriptures. It's actually mm, quite, quite detrimental to ourselves. The Holy Spirit is the one that leads and guides a true prophet, not a human spirit, not a demonic spirit. They're not going to tap in. They're not going to tap into that divination. And, oh, by the way, a true prophet knows another prophet when they see one. And a true prophet will submit to another prophet. It's commanded in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. It's not a suggestion. It is the real deal, saints. Check it out. The Holy Spirit, the Lord himself, rebuked these prophets. He enlightens us as to the operations. But if we don't want to be enlightened and we just want what we want, go get your little board, tack up all your little pictures and all the stuff that you want and start calling it forth. Because I can guarantee you God will give you the desires of your heart. He'll give you up to self. He will give you up to yourself, saints. He will fulfill your greatest desire. Because when you refuse to do his will, his way, he will give you up to your heart's desire. Because when he takes a man or a woman and he changes us, our heart's desires change to what he wants for us and not what our vision board is lusting after. Lust of the eye lust of the flesh pride of life aside from likening these self prophesiers and false prophets aside from likening them to foxes they're deceivers, they're schemers they're subverters of God's will the Lord describes their negative impact for us saints the prophets of their own hearts have not gone up into the gaps according to the Lord. It's all about me, 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 I, 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 self, self, self. Saints, a true prophet's going to get in down and dirty, rolling up them sleeves and, and getting down and dirty, okay? And I ain't talking about a, a down and dirty in a bad way. I'm talking about down and dirty spiritually where the warfare is coming in and all hell's fixing to break loose because the prophet walked in on the scene. And devil's fixing to leave and folks' lives are fixing to change. 
according to the Lord. In Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 5. Saints, he indicted them. Here's the truth right here. They attended, they had not attended to the breaches in the protection of the walls of the land. Look at the United States. Oh my gosh. Here's your clue. The prophets are not attending to the real work of the Lord. They're attending to the Benjamins. That's the truth. Get your little board and put your little vision up there and watch about all the division that comes through. It might be provision, but it's not going to be the provision of the Lord. It's no. going to be a provision that you wanted. And then you might even give God the glory. And he's like, I ain't had nothing to do with that. Now you in debt up to your, you're drowning in debt, saints, because you want what you want. Saints, we're supposed to be making up hedges, hedges of protection and defenses against enemy invaders. Hello? You can't be self-prophesying and I want, I want, I want, I need, I need, I need and be doing anything for anybody else. It might even look good, but you're just giving him lip service. Vain visions, lying divinations, subjective prophecies, unconfirmed words from the Lord that have no hope of coming to pass because we're self-prophesying and we're prophesying our own heart, our own will, our own mind, our own emotions. Oh gosh, saints, we need we need help in this area. Ezekiel thirteen nine talks about the punishment. Can you imagine being immediately banished from the Lord's general assemblies? If we do a little more excommunicating and putting people out, maybe they get right. Yeah. Oh yeah, excommunication is bi biblical, by the way. Mm, yeah, if you study, you'd find out. You can't love them to death and love them to life at the same time. If you're going to love them to death, they're probably going to find death and hell. But if you're going to love them to life, you're going to tell them the truth in love. Once exiled, the condemned prophet is condemned. By having their name omitted from the Lord's covenanted ones. Such prophets are what? Huh. they're not going to get in saints we need to pray for some folk we need to pray for ourselves because they seduce God's people they seduce God's people they're going to tell you peace when there is no peace they're going to tell you healing when they're no uh -uh, you living in sin they're going to tell you all this good stuff that you want to hear so you bring, you, you bring, their mo bring the money and when you buy into their prophecy, those prophecies will absolutely, a lot of them come true because it's your heart's desire and the Lord's given you up to it and you're in denial about what the truth is. Living in sin and God is just blessing, blessing, blessing every bit of your sin. Lying, lying prophetics. Guys, lying prophetics. When you deceive people, brings a cosmic war, a cosmic war, a battle, a barrage of all kind of stuff. Mm, a cosmic war manifesting brutal, brutal weather, huh. destructive hailstones, indicative of the judgment against sin, idolatry, and divinatory prophetics. Mm. And they are sent by God. Yes. They're allowed by God to destroy a land. Yes. And saints, I hope that just as Jezebel had space to repent, we will repent in sackcloth and ashes. If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wickedness, says the Lord, I will hear them from heaven and I will heal their land. Yes. Saints, it's time to wake up. You can't be an end time, self-fulfilling prophet. You can't be an auto prophet. You can't turn it on and off. If you don't have the spirit of prophecy, then you are learn you are listening to a lying, deceiving spirit. And you think that you're a prophet over your own life. And many of these prophets think that they are seriously in the office of a prophet. It can't be taught or learned. 
if there is no spirit of the prophet. Figure it out, saints. Do a little studying. I'm going to talk to you later about divinatory prophetics. And that's even going to be more fun. So stay tuned, saints. I love you. God bless you. I plead and apply the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach over you to hide, protect, and keep you. Ask God to fulfill his destiny for you. Do not be a destiny thief, a destiny hijacker, a destiny pirate by trying to be a prophet over your own life. Ask him to forgive you and he will. And he will send you to a prophet or he will send a prophet to you and they will confirm what you already know in your own spirit man. You have the Holy Spirit. He will teach you and lead you and guide you. If you don't believe me, if you don't trust me, I'm, I'm not asking you to believe me. I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm asking you to go to the Lord and to get a Bible, open it and start reading and studying for yourselves. I'm not going to have your blood on my hands. Not going to happen, saints. I love you too much. This sister with a testimony in the office at SWAT Church, Universal Gospel Fellowship Center, we love you. God bless you. Have a nice day. Come back and see us.